Good evening, sir. Very good evening. How are you? Just some fun. Yes, Tharun. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Very good evening. Why, Sankar? So you'll join in a few moments. Okay. Yes, sir. He joined. The Kongo will also join in a few moments. Fine. So tell me, is screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we were discussing the preparation of hydrogen. I hope you remember, yes. right? Yes, yes, sir. Good evening, yeah. sir. Very good evening. How are you, Sankar? Fine, sir. OK, so tell me that uh, how we prepare this hydrogen in the lab. That is the laboratory method of preparation. Uh, you... you said with a dilute H2O or acid. Yeah, what we are taking here? Uh, zinc. Exactly. Whenever we have to prepare this dihydrogen in the lab, we are just preparing it, preparing it by just using the zinc granules of zinc, right? Zinc yes, granule. Exactly. Yes, yeah, metal because it is in granular form. And there are small pores or what you can say the holes. Uh, so it has very much surface area for the reaction to take place. So we prefer only this one metal, and then we are just reacting it with dilute. Yeah, sulfuric acid. Isn't it? Yes. yes. So, what will be the product? Uh, zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. Exactly, zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. And I have told you that this uh, hydrogen gas it is just uh, obtained above the water, right? Yes, sir. By the yeah, yes, the gas evolved is collected over water by the downward displacement of water because hydrogen it is lighter, it will just move upwards. Isn't it? Yes. And then. Collected. Uh, but this uh, hydrogen, it will not be your dry gas, it will be wet because there will be some water vapor, the moisture associated with it, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. So how we can dry this? Uh, we, we can uh, you, we can get the dry hydrogen gas by using the drying agents, right? Sometimes we are using the drying agents. CR2SO4. No. CR2SO4. Exactly. Concentrated sulfuric acid is also used as a drying agent, but along with that, we can uh, we can bubble this hydrogen gas through this uh, concentrated H2SO4. It will act as drying agent, but but what we are pre uh, preferring here, we are just uh, taking a mixture of uh, calcium chloride. It is a drying agent. Similarly, along with it, we are having sodium sulfate, Na2SO4, and magnesium sulfate. So when we just pass this. Uh, uh, wet hydrogen gas through this mixture that is actually acting as a drying agent so water vapor it will get absorbed by these uh, drying agents that is your calcium chloride it's a drying agent isn't it so yes. this magnesium sulfate they will just absorb the moisture and so the hydrogen gas which we will get that will be your dry hydrogen gas right yes sir so I hope you will remember this. This is very important that sometimes it is asked that if we are just preparing the hydrogen gas in the laboratory, it is at that time it is wet. Uh, that means it is actually associated. It contains the water vapors, moisture with it. So how we can dry this? So we can use the, exactly the drying agent. Uh, and we are using only this uh, zinc as a metal here, granule zinc. So I hope you will remember this. Now let's see very important. Uh, commercial method of preparation of dihydrogen this will be very important commercial method that is the industrial method right yes sir. yes okay so the first commercial method that is simply the electrolysis i hope you have gone through this electrolysis H2O of water isn't it gives electrolysis on oxidation h2o plus uh, h2 uh, h2 no, H2, 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 that's it 
रिडक्शन टेक्स प्लेस you can just remember it by by remembering these terms uh, for example in case of cathode what is first coming H hydrogen it is h here right h but in case of anode here it is o oxidation so, right cathode it starts with c and anode it starts with a so that is just the numerator yeah you can okay whatever ways you are using to remember but you have to remember that at cathode there will be reduction and at anode there will be oxidation yes sir yes. and uh, still you can remember the charge in chemistry cathode is that which is your negative pole negative mm -hmm. terminal and similarly yes sir yes. okay so now tell me in this electrolysis of water if you just balance sir, this but reaction but don't you uh, won't, won't we add h2so4 in this because uh, water should get conductive right exactly we are just putting few drops of sulfuric acid or few drops of hydro some, some promoter type of thing you know actually yeah, we are just uh, we are just adding these few drops of sulfuric acid in order to make it conductive because i have told you that pure promoter water is bad conductor so, yeah it is good conductor it is acid acid is good conductor of electricity okay, so you will like remember that for this, for this. no it is just uh, we are just adding it which will act as just uh, as a conductor as a conducting material oh, pure uh, water is bad conductor isn't it yes sir yes, yes sir because so there are lack of ions exactly there isn't any ion so when you just put this h2so4 it will just give you ion that is <laughs> and as so4 to negative right these ions will be furnished by this h2so4 that's why we are adding it we are just making it good conductor by adding this h2so4 yes, okay sir. now tell me that when this reaction takes place can you balance it yes sir it's 2h2 that's it that's it ah okay. h2o oh, let's this. sir is dp take place yes okay. yes the dp yes. sir take place yeah t slash p it means takes uh, that means on which oxidation takes place yeah here it takes place t slash p Okay, I will write it here. Oxidation takes place, right? T slash P. It's okay, sir. I, I understood. I okay. Understood. Okay. Now tell me that have you balanced it? Now can you tell me that do you do you get equal volumes of hydrogen and oxygen gas or different? Dif uh, equal. Same volume. It's balanced. Equal. It is balanced, no. but you will not get the equal volume. See why? Because here it is one one stoichiometric coefficient. Here it is two. So whenever you do the electrolysis of water, you have to remember that you will get double the hydrogen gas as compared to oxygen. Okay, I will write it here. This so is very important. So that will really matter because we are we are only adding an atom and does not actually be there. 
no no we are just balancing this equation so we are here having the two stoichiometric coefficient and here it is one yeah. so that means whenever you do the electrolysis of water you will get uh, twice hydrogen as your oxygen so you will write that you will get double the hydrogen gas i will write it here that hydrogen gas obtained is double than the oxygen hydrogen gas obtained is double right yes 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 yeah sir. it is double than oxygen it means that for example if you are just uh, let's say we are having uh, we are having a 1 liter of oxygen gas i am getting when i do the electrolysis of water specific amount of water so that means you will get 2 liters of hydrogen gas are you getting if you are yes, getting 1 yes, liter of 1 liter of oxygen gas you will get the 2 liters of hydrogen gas so that's why i wrote it, wrote it down here that hydrogen gas obtained is double than oxygen gas yes sir. yeah this is very important okay so have you noted down this yes sir yes sir yeah then uh, after this we will just move to the next very important commercial method of preparation that is the by reaction of steam on coke sir this is, is not that... commercial method it is also yes. a commercial method. it's a laboratory method no it laboratory is a commercial method, method. laboratory oh, method sorry, is sorry. not a commercial method with this laboratory method you can obtain hydrogen gas but not too much uh, uh, but in this commercial method you get lower scale of hydrogen gas so that's why we are discussing these commercial methods one yes, of the commercial sir. method is electrolysis yes. let's see the next one sir why do we not use the commercial Uh, method as also the laboratory method. See, actually, whenever, 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 whenever we have any commercial method, it requires lot of space. It requires various apparatus. It requires large number of men workers. So it is not possible in the lab. Uh, whenever we are having in the laboratory, we require very small amount of any chemical substance. For example, if we just prepare hydrogen in the lab, it will be just required in very little amount. So. we will not prefer any commercial lab in the lab we are just having the simple reactions in order to have small amount of the product but on commercial scale in the on uh, i mean to say in the industry we are having a lot of space a lot of workers are working there it's a large Money. large project, project is there actually see, we have to use lot of electricity will this electricity be available in the lab no no that is safety why. sir because students like us only will use lab work Mm. Yeah. So shall I move to the next page? Yes. Yes, sir. sir. They'll call us child workers if you do that. Hey. No, the, okay. Like, no. In the labs, the like, uh, school. <laughs> Most of the time, labs are in school. So next no, commercial, commercial method. method. Yeah. Next yeah, commercial, commercial method is the Bosch. They won't Bosch. be there in commercial. Next. So this is what we learned, sir, sir, last year. Bosch. Bosch process. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, uh, what you can I remember. Sir. So it is some hot coke and exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. and like white cold steam cold. that's what i remember reaction like, of i like cold coke though hey you are my joke bro hot oh, you said coke. that yeah, you just said that with steam he spoke to soft and soft to the Are you getting? I am yes, saying sir. that in this Bosch process, what we are doing, we are just having a red hot coke, and we are just treating it with steam. So here, it takes place at very high temperature. For example, coke is what? That is simply the carbon. Carbon in the form of coke. So coke is one of the form of carbon. So we are already uh, taking a coke that's already hot and putting more hot steam in it. No, yeah. basically adding water in the form of steam so that it's easier to react. And steam is hot. Steam, yeah, it reacts quickly because I have. To no, it's steam. not for the temperature, da. It's for the reactivity. Uh, See now, when this uh, react, it reacts at a high temperature. Can you tell me what is the temperature? It is two hundred seventy Kelvin at a temperature of twelve hundred seventy Kelvin. Yeah. And uh, which yeah. catalyst we are using here? Nickel. That's Nickel. 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 Yeah. And what you get here? What you get here? Carbon monoxide Carbon and the hydrogen. Carbon monoxide and hydrogen. H two. So can you tell me this mixture is known as carbon monoxide and H two? Uh, carbon monoxide and H two. I don't know. This is a mixture of carbon, no. water. Monoxide. This is very important. Water. 
it will be asked in the exam so what is water oh. gas just water vapor no 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 sir, it is last yeah yes, sir. okay yes, sir. So last year we learned. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you I'm continue. Just, sir. Okay, I will tell you. It is just uh, named as water gas, but it doesn't contain water. It contains carbon monoxide and H two hydrogen gas. This mixture is known as water gas. But why it is known as water gas? Because actually we are uh, preparing it from the water. Steam is what? Steam is the water. So that yes. is why it is known as water gas. So you have to remember this. Reversible name is different. Is this reversible? No, no, it is not is reversible. It is not reversible. So you have to remember. That's why I have shown only one arrow. Whenever I will just show the two arrows, that means the reaction will be reversible, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So sir, now tell last me here. year, sir, last year we learned it as white hot coke, sir. No, no, it is a red hot coke. <laughs> what? Okay, tell me. Tell me. something called white hot coke. Uh, so tell me that if you have any carbon, let's say uh, you are having wood. Wood also contains carbon, isn't it? Yes, sir. That's yes, sir. Burn. Wood. Uh, wood. Tell yeah. me. Yeah, when you just burn this wood, what will happen when you burn it's this? Turn to ash. No, no. Before uh, turning it um, into ash, what it will energy. produce what? heat and water. And what will be the color? Sir, red. Uh, red. Gray. No, red. red exactly. Well, See, color of fire, sir. Bro, what else you did? But uh, it will become red. Hey, but you look wood. at that wood, wooden stick. It will be like red in color, right? You See, the wooden stick. Iron color. It will first turn red. So that is why it is a red hot coke, not the white hot coke. You have to remember it. It is red. So is there something like that? I remember white studying coke. white coke somewhere. <laughs> Hey, stop mm -hmm. mentioning it. Sir, so is there something called white oak? <laughs> Maybe, but I don't know. I don't know. No, I remember so studying it somewhere. Hey, coke is a flavor, Dutch, not the Coca Cola. I know that. I'm just joking, Dutch. Yeah, I'm not coke admitting that Coke. Well, it's only a flavor. So tell me now that when this reacts with this steam, when this Coke reacts with steam, it forms the water. Gaze, right yes sir so water gas is what is it a fuel or not it is it an is important fuel. yeah it is fuel, right so you have to remember that this water gas it acts as a fuel isn't it fuel in the sense usable fuel or Commercial fuel. Okay, I will tell you why it is fuel. Because carbon monoxide, it is it can further react with the oxygen. It can form carbon dioxide, and you will get the heat energy. Right? Yes, sir. And similarly, it contains hydrogen in it. Hydrogen can still burn in oxygen, and it can form water. And we will also get here the heat energy. So fuel that is why. Like, and will be a car and all like. I don't know why. No, it I can do. burn. Bro, do you think why? I'm a child or? Why it is used it in cars? Yes, I Is know. your sir? I know, sir. Like okay. hydrocarbon cars. Okay, that's great. But tell me uh, that why this water gas is not used in cars? Can you tell me? Sir, so because it needs like, more uh, energy. The, it emits. Sir, because it emits uh, carbon dioxide. Exactly, it emits carbon dioxide, it, and it is a very big pollutant. It is a greenhouse gas. So that's why we are not using this so as a really polluting. Like more heat or something. No, it, it's polluting. That's highly polluting. Yeah, it will just pollute the environment. It is not eco-friendly. So that's why we are not using it in our vehicles. Would I know what you're talking about eco-friendly? We can use it in industry. So that's why it is known as I'm industry. Pretty sure the cars we are using now are not better than this. <laughs> See, the cars which which are just running on electricity, they are eco-green. They are not polluting at all. Totally. Yes. Yeah. Those cars which run on electricity, they are eco green. They will not pollute. They so will not have any lithium for that, right? And abstracting lithium is pollution, right? Exactly. Indirect. See now, indirect. and it's not so. yeah, indirect. Now see here that uh, mixture of this carbon monoxide and hydrogen it is used for synthesis of methanol. Methanol is what? It's also you are one of the alcohol and that is used as that is used as what? That's also used it as fuel, isn't it? Yes, sir. So you have to remember that it is known as water gas, or it's known as uh, there are also other names. I hope you will remember this. Water gas. It's also known as synthesis gas. Synthesis gas. 
or you can also call it as sin gaze s y n so it is known as synthesis gaze or sin gaze or you can just call it as a water gaze are you getting yes sir yeah just turn on your cameras so uh, now, i can't so i don't have a camera sorry <laughs> Like I'm native now. Once I go there, okay, no problem. Yeah, native gives you background noise as well as no camera. It gives me so no camera, bro. Nice English. No, it gives you. It does not. You do not have. Hey, shut up, Navi. Hey, and what? So why it is known as synthesis gaze? Because we can synthesize methane from this water gaze. I'm again saying that from this carbon monoxide and hydrogen, we can prepare methane also, CH4. So that's why it's known as synthesis or syn gaze also. So I hope you will remember this uh, water gaze. Uh, so it is simply a mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen gaze. Uh, so this is also known as syn gaze. Now tell me that we had actually separate this hydrogen from this water gaze. How we will do that? First of all, it is difficult to obtain hydrogen from water gaze or syn gaze because carbon monoxide it is difficult to remove, right? But what we can do, we can just uh, increase the production of dihydrogen uh, by simply uh, taking this mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen, and uh, it is heated in presence of iron chromate so i will write the reaction here reaction is very important can you tell what you told right now again okay i will tell it again i am saying that this water gaze it contains both carbon monoxide and hydrogen but what we have to require we need only this hydrogen so how to separate this hydrogen from this carbon monoxide i am saying that it is difficult to separate this hydrogen from this carbon monoxide but what we can do now we can just take this mixture that is we can take this water gaze that is carbon monoxide and hydrogen and we can just pass again steam here more steam is passing and we are here using a very high temperature 673 kelvin temperature and we are using iron chromate that is fe cr o4 iron chromate I hope you will remember the name of this iron, iron chromate. chromate in the sense it's like a promoter or like uh, it catalyst. is acting as a catalyst. It will act as a catalyst. Yeah, iron chromate will act as a catalyst. Now, what will happen? This carbon monoxide it will just get oxidized to carbon dioxide, and we will get more and more hydrogen. You can balance it twice. Um, two. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, it is balanced, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. It's yes. balanced. So we more dihydrogen and it is called a water gaze shift reaction this reaction is known as water gaze shift reaction i hope you will remember it i will write it here that it's known as water gaze this reaction is known as water gaze shift reaction water gaze shift reaction and then this carbon dioxide, it can be removed by scrubbing with a sodium arsenide solution. If we are having the solution of sodium arsenide, that can just absorb this carbon dioxide and we will get only the pure hydrogen. Got it? Have you noted down this? Yes. One second, sir. Yes. Almost done. Yes, sir. Even in his native Tarun can't show his full video, Dad. I can only see his head. <laughs> Tarun's in his native. Yeah. Madurai. That's what he said. They show your body, Dad. We want to see it. We <laughs> were only seeing your head for the past decade. Don't okay, okay, okay. Hey, Sankar, finish. Sorry, we will do that. So have you finished? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now see, we are having this mixture of CO2 and uh, hydrogen. So can, how can we remove this hydrogen or how we can get this hydrogen so from this mixture? Scrubbing. 
exactly exactly i told that this mixture it is just uh, scrubbed with okay i will write it here that this mixture is lithium mixture is scrubbed with lithium okay with sodium arsenide yeah, solution yeah i was totally wrong with sodium arsenide so when you just scrub it with this uh, sodium arsenide solution you will get the pure hydrogen there is also another way what is that another way is that if you just uh, um, pass this mixture and if you just compress it okay i will write it here so this looks like a very inefficient way to obtain so uh, hydrogen see actually it requires a lot of efforts but it is the commercial scale industrial scale we get lot of hydrogen here so that's why but like that's we need also that, lot of materials like sodium arsenide that uh, already exactly. available the so it is available, available yeah you can find it on the so roadside sodium okay. arsenide it is available in the lab so you can get it but whenever there is See, any industrial process the chemicals which are required there they are easily available they have already made these chemicals available so that we can okay now see here that this mixture it is uh, compressed to about 30 atmospheric pressure are you getting it 30 atmospheric pressure yes. Sir, why will anyone use this commercial method, sir? The other commercial methods are easier and more efficient. Right? No, like why? Why would I even use it? You said. How like, do you uh, know that it's more efficient? See, see, actually, it you depends. Can get, hey, you can depends. get electricity more. Uh, you get, see, see, I will tell you. I will tell you. I will tell you. Get the sodium arsenide solution. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Now here, listen now that I am saying there are various commercial methods, but it depends now on the situation. If at any uh, place there is more electricity available, so we will do the electrolysis. But if at some other place we are having more coke available, so we will just do this. Uh, that is the Bosch process, right? So it depends. on various factors so compressed this mixture is compressed to about 30 atmospheric pressure now what will happen because of this yeah. it will just get compressed when it is it gets compressed and then it is passed through water what will happen can anybody uh, tell uh, carbon dioxide gets uh, combined with exactly. water it gets dissolved in water but hydrogen will not dissolve so it is then collected how do we know that hydrogen will also not combine with the water yeah hydrogen has very little solubility in water so that's why it it will not di get dissolved in water at this temp at this pressure atmospheric pressure that is 30 it is experimentally found that at this 30 atmospheric pressure carbon dioxide will get dissolved in water that is why if you just see these soft drinks they contain lot of carbon dioxide in it because carbon dioxide easily gets dissolved in water so you have to remember that this mixture it is just then passed through water and what will happen carbon dioxide dissolves but the hydrogen will not carbon dioxide dissolves will get dissolved in it while dihydrogen is released so dihydrogen will not get dissolved here it will just get released so we can then it collect it this we can then collect this so these are the two ways how to get this hydrogen from this mixture of carbon dioxide and hydrogen so that is simply we can just uh, either pass this mixture we can pass this through water but it's compressed first of all at 30 atmospheric pressure so carbon dioxide will get dissolved but hydrogen will not get dissolved so it is then released similarly we can just scrub it with sodium arsenide solution then again we can get the hydrogen got it sir okay sir. now let's see let's see another way important method of preparation of this hydrogen uh, that is by lenz process i hope you remember it i have i think we have yes, gone sir, we did it like a while ago okay tell me what happened with this lenz process so one second Yes, 
So do you remember what happens in this land? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. If you should be remote. If you remember that, uh, I having right? Sir, uh, I, I am. Uh, I am. Yes, sir. Plus. Iron is reacted with steam, right? That one, sir. Okay. Yeah, I iron know. plus water in the form of gas. It gives magnetized. Uh, iron. Oh. Yes, sir. Iron oxide and uh, hydrogen. I hope you have. Okay, this is the one we asked right there. Like, if it's Fe two or Fe three. Yeah, I made yeah. one of his name. It is Fe3O4. Yeah. It is known as magnetite. Magnetite. Oh, yes, right. sir. Or uh, ferric fer. Oh, what is the name, sir? Exactly. It is ferrous ferric. 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 Gone. Yeah, ferrous ferric. Yeah. Magnetic ore of iron. It's known as magnetic ore. Ferrous ferric. Oh, yes. Last class in the visit. Yeah, in the last perhaps. class we had discussed this lens process. Was there? Oh, okay. you weren't there last class. Last class I was not there. Ah, oh, that last class. Last chemistry chemistry class. class I was there. Yeah, yeah. I was there. Hey, both of you were not there last chemistry class, there. Huh? What? No. I was Only there. Only me and were there. No, I was now, there. No. Now, <laughs> this reaction. Today was biology and maths. Okay. Yes. Uh, this yeah, reaction is actually reversible. You have to remember yeah, that this reaction yes, is reversible. Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. How, to, how to shift this reaction in the forward direction? That means how to get then this more and more hydrogen. What we have to do here? Sir, ferrosophoric plus hydrogen plus carbon monoxide gives iron plus water plus carbon dioxide. Now, see, first of all, here, what we do here. As soon as this hydrogen is formed, it is removed. If we just remove this, then equilibrium will shift in the forward direction. So I will write it here that the reaction being so reversible. What's equilibrium? Equilibrium means that first reactant is they combine and they form the product. But product is again combine and they form back the product. They form back the reactant. So that means we get less product here. When reaction occurs in the forward direction as well as in the backward direction, we call it as equilibrium. Okay, I will write it here, equilibrium. Equilibrium means balance. There is balance between the forward reaction and the backward reaction. I'm again re repeating it. That see, if we are having any reaction in which, uh, let's say if we are having A, it reacts with B, it first forms C plus D, right? Yes. But now C plus D, they again react and they form back A plus B. So that means it this reaction equal, is reversible. equilibrium. Yeah, it is a reversible reaction and there will be, whenever there is a reversible reaction, there will be definitely equilibrium, balance. Yes. Oh. Okay. So noted down this. Now what I was saying, I was saying that this reaction in Lannes process, the reaction is reversible. The reaction is? Reversible. Reversible. Hence, hydrogen gas means hydrogen gas is removed as soon as it is formed. Sir, it's so removed. every balanced equation is in equilibrium. Every, no, re, no, every like reversible yeah. reaction is in equilibrium. Exactly. Whenever there is a reversible reaction, then there will be equilibrium. If it, if it is not reversible, if it is taking place only in one direction, then there will not be any equilibrium. So it's not like both sides are equal means equilibrium. When both sides are equal, when it goes back and forth, it's equilibrium. Like exactly. There should be forward reaction as well as backward reaction. I hope you have got this forward and backward. I have told you that. First reaction is they combine, they form the product. But in some reactions, what happens? The product again gets converted to reactant. So at that time, we call it as reversible reaction. And reversible yes. Yes. Yeah, reaction is they are preceded by this equilibrium. So the reaction is reversible, hence hydrogen gas is removed as soon as it is formed. So, so what does that mean? Sir? Have you got this line? I have yes, sir. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay, I will tell it again. I have written down here that this reaction is reversible. Reversible means that this hydrogen gas formed, it will react again with this Fe3O4 and it will form again iron and steam. But we have to get more and more hydrogen. So what we will do? Hydrogen gas, as soon as it is formed, it is removed from the mixture. 
So yeah, remove add. Remove sort automatically. Yeah, when we just remove this hydrogen, so then equilibrium will get shifted in the forward direction. Yes. Okay, I will write it here. Hence, equilibrium. That is the reaction. Sir, if we don't if we remove the hydrogen, will it be like a loop? Like it will again become the reactants, and the reactants will again become the product, and it will again exactly, become. Exactly, exactly. This process will continue. So that that means we will get less product if we will not remove this hydrogen. So how will we get less product? So nothing yeah. will sir. I will tell it again. Equilibrium will shift in forward direction. First, write this uh, line. What I have written here in this red color. Uh, forward answer. Okay. Now see here. Actually, what happened? Whenever we carry out this reaction, it is just carried out in some container, in some vessel, isn't it? In some reaction bottle. So tell me, when this reaction takes place, what will happen? We will get first to the product that is the magnetic ore of iron, that is ferroso ferric oxide and we will get the hydrogen but but since this hydrogen is there it will again react with this fe3o4 and it will back form team and iron so that means this uh, process will keep going on that means the reactants will form the products products will again form the reactants now what we have to do we have to just remove this hydrogen which is formed here so that reaction will move in the forward direction that means we will get more and more Hydrogen. Yes, sir. But you sir, said that uh, you said that the pro, uh, the pro, uh, if this loop keeps happening, the products will keep decreasing, right, sir? What do you mean by that? Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Now tell me. For example, first reaction takes place. Let me say. For example, we have got ten gram of hydrogen, right? Yes, see. sir. Okay. Now, if I am not removing this hydrogen, what will happen? Among this 10 gram, few grams will again react back with this Fe3O4 and that will get converted to Fe and H2. That means it is now only, let's say 2 gram have reacted, it is now only 8 gram. Won't all the 10 oh, grams sir, react with Shouldn't the all the 10 grams rea react to form the uh, reactants again, sir? No, no, not all. Okay, I will tell you why. Because the see, matter will be lost both, as energy, etc. No, no, see, see, both processes are continuously taking place. That means there is formation of hydrogen gas. And there is again it getting converted back to this iron and water. So that means it is formed again. It is getting again decomposed back to this steam. So that means this process is keeping it. It, it keeps going on, right? The process continues. So that is why that is why we have to remove this hydrogen so that this reaction will just shift in the forward direction. Okay. Yes. So, but okay. then if we take if if there's like 10 grams of H2 first comes out and we are taking like five grams out of it for us and then again the reaction goes back again we get only five grams if we take it how will more be created so no no see actually what happens if for example we are having 10 gram of hydrogen is formed and you are just removing five gram of hydrogen from this so that means its concentration decreases when concentration of product decreases then it will not react with this Fe3O4 that means that means what will happen? Equilibrium will shift in the forward direction. That means now this reaction will take place in the forward direction. We will again get more hydrogen. And if if you are not removing this hydrogen, then reaction will go in the backward direction. It will form react reactants again. Got it? Well, let's say the reactants there is ten grams, and then uh, products are ten grams, and we remove uh, two grams of hydrogen, and when we again uh, send it for a reaction. Uh, there should be like only 8 grams of product rate, sir, not 10 grams. Yeah, at that time you will not have again the 10 gram, but you will have. Okay, I will, I will, I will explain it on the next page. Have you noted on this? Yes, sir. Yeah, but... See, see, we are having here reactant A. It reacts with reactant B and it gives me C plus D, right? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes. This reaction is not reversible. It is irreversible. Irreversible means it goes only in the forward. Yes, sir. You got it? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Okay, that means if this A it reacts with B completely, we will get complete hundred percent product. Let's say we are getting hundred percent product, right? Yes, sir. Okay, but if I am having the same reaction, A it reacts with B. So it first gets converted to product C and D, but 
C and D, they again combine and they get converted back to A and B. So that means reaction is not irreversible. It is reversible, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Let us, let us say A and B, they have just reacted and they have formed, let's say, uh, okay, we are having 10 gram of C B. and D. Both, yeah. Both are 10 gram, right? Now, yes. now, if you are just removing this D, let's say d is gaze and you are just removing d from this mixture when you will just remove d from the mixture so let's say d was let's say d was five gram so it is now only the three gram isn't it let's say it was first five gram you have just removed two gram so what will be left three there three. it will be okay exactly three gram okay now see here when it happens that you just remove two gram of d so its concentration decreases when concentration decreases that means equilibrium will now shift in the forward direction in the forward but direction if you remove the entire d it won't even be a, a reversible reaction yes sir. exactly if you are just keeping uh, removing this d completely that means the reaction will not remain reversible it will just go in the forward direction so that's why i'm saying that as soon as hydrogen is formed it is to be removed from the mixture it yes sir but sir. like how is that a like a profit for them so it's just i don't understand how that is a profit it is very easy to understand for example let's say d is your hydrogen gaze d is your hydrogen and what you want you want hydrogen because uh, this process lens process it is used for the preparation of hydrogen and you need this hydrogen if you will not remove this hydrogen from this mixture then what will happen it will again react with this c and it will back form b and a then what is the purpose of the reaction? Are you getting? So that means we need, uh, like, we need this uh, A and B every time we need our hydrogen. We need this hydrogen. We have to prepare this. We have to make more and more hydrogen. So, so that's like when we every time we have to combine new A and B to get B exactly. and then remove the D and then again A and B remove the D, A and B like that. Sir? See, actually, whenever we have reversible reaction, that means. <laughs> Uh, 100 there yeah. will not be 100 percent reaction that means for example if there was 50 gram a let's say 50 gram b when reaction is reversible it doesn't mean that all this 50 gram of a and all this 50 gram of b it is reacted there. no only let's say 50 or 60 percent of reaction has gone completed so there is there is still a and b there so if you just remove if you just remove this hydrogen then it is possible to keep this reaction going on and it will go in the forward direction it will shift in the forward direction got it yes sir sir but what if we take uh, 50 grams of uh, a and 50 grams of b and react it and we get 50 grams of c and 50 grams of d and there's a reversible reaction and we take c c and d 50 grams of c and 50 grams of d and again put it in a jar and react it without taking any percentage of c and d will it still be the same sir it won't lose any exactly uh, what what is equilibrium equilibrium means that the composition will remain same for example if a is 50 gram b is 50 gram if you are still getting c as 50 gram and d also as 50 gram if you are not just taking d out of this mixture that means it will just uh, keep the same 50 gram why because as much as a plus b react to give c and d the same will be that c and d they will react and they will back give a plus b that means, that means there is no uh, no element that is like losing its Something. Electron, something, something. Yeah. No, no. They are losing. They are losing particles, but there is also again the formation of particle. It is just that it's dynamic. Dynamic means okay. that dynamic means that as much as C and D is formed, the same amount of C and D gets decomposed back to the reactants. Yes. Got it? It's like yeah. a cycle. Yeah, this is very important that whenever there is equilibrium, it is dynamic. I will write it this term here: dynamic dynamic means as much as uh, okay let's say this is my reactant or as much as product B is formed, the same amount of product will get decomposed to this reactant r so that means this is dynamic what it is so this is lannis process but this lannis process it uh, consists of two stages one is the oxidation state another is the reduction stage okay i will write it here that this lannis process 
consists of sir the iron is getting off i mean uh, reduced and hydrogen is getting oxidized that's okay I'll tell you what actually yeah. happens. There are two stages. One is known as oxidation stage. Another is the reduction stage. Right. Okay. Yes. The first is the oxidation state. Oxidation state is uh, that is actually what we have actually seen in the reaction. What happens? That this iron, that is Fe, it reacts with the steam, that is H2O, and what it forms? Uh, Fe3O4. Exactly. Plus H two, right? Yes, sir. And I hope you can balance it four yes, times sir, here. Three H three plus four H two gives three O four plus four H two. Yeah, exactly. It takes place at a temperature of one thousand twenty five to one thousand seventy five Kelvin. This is the temperature here. Yes, sir. What is the next? Next is the this is the oxidation state. As it is an industrial process, so there are two main states. One is the oxidation, another is the reduction stage. Now, which actually undergoes here the reduction? So I am. It is exactly that magnetite. That is FeCO4. Okay. It is then reacted with this carbon monoxide so here reduction will take place that means it will just get converted to iron and we will get the carbon dioxide here yes sir. hope you can balance this yes sir. it's a 3 fp plus i do four times plus CO. Four CO2. <laughs> yeah i doesn't make so <laughs> can you tell me which has undergone here reduction Sir, no, no, sir. No, CO has undergone oxidation. It was CO, it has become CO2. So there is addition of oxygen that but is oxidation. If, you, if we lose oxygen, it's op, uh, oxidation, right, sir? Exactly. Fe3O4 it was. Now it is only Fe, so it has lost its oxygen atom. So that's a reduction. Loss of oxygen oh. means reduction. Oh, okay. okay. Reduction means loss of oxygen. I will write it here. Loss of electronegative. So gain element. of oxygen reduction and gain of hydrogen no, no. oxidation. Gain of hydrogen is reduction. Loss of oxygen is reduction also. And similarly, gain of oxygen is oxidation and loss of hydrogen is also oxidation. You told it the other way around. Huh? So that was okay. Sorry, sir. If you have doubt, I will then repeat what is actually oxidation and reduction. What are the definitions? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. Oh, so loss of oxygen, reduction, gain of oxygen, oxidation. Exactly. Gain oxygen. of oxygen means oxidation. And it's opposite. That is loss of oxygen. That is reduction. Okay. Now, Fe3O4, you can also react it with hydrogen gas. This is also the reduction taking Does place here. back H2O and Fe, right, sir? Exactly. H2O and F. So can you balance? So 3 Fe plus 4 H2O. 4 H2. 4 H2 gives 3 Fe plus 4 H2O. It's not balanced. 4 H2. Okay, it, is. it is. It is. It is. It is. It is balanced, sir. It is balanced. Yeah. Sir. It is balanced. Yes, sir. So have you noted down this? Sir, so in this one, Fe is oxidized. No, no Fe F is reduced. F it is, is reduced. Yeah. Yes, uh, reduc and H2 is oxidized. H2 is oxidized. Exactly. Yes. Shall I move to the next page? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, this was the preparation. I hope that you have for these industrial preparations, then we will see the properties of this dihydrogen. So if we just talk of the one of the property that is hydrogen, it is a colorless, tasteless, odorless geese. Right? Yes. Colorless, odorless and tasteless. Is colorless, 
yeah. uh, do elements even have tastes sir like without forming of compounds do they even have no i eat something and see so yeah, da, I ate sodium I for breakfast. It's very tasty. I'm not telling you. Hey, no, da, ma. Some elements have taste, so that's why I am writing it here that it is colorless, as well as odorless, as well as tasteless geese. The person tasting it must have been scared for his life. Because actually, it is dihydrogen. Dihydrogen means H2, right? So, do they have like some people to taste every element? No, no, not at all. Then how do they know, sir? Hey, they did. First, check if it's like radioactive, emitting radio waves. If you eat a radioactive element, you. Yeah, <laughs> if you eat <laughs> radioactive, you will not try it. They'll bring some 95 year old person, like, they'll give it to like, <laughs> just salt and he'll die. Like, almost, I have, like, I, I, I could have survived for a test, century. Test guys. subject number 73. <laughs> <laughs> now, if we just talk of the solubility, it is slightly soluble in water. That means it is very sol very less soluble. Yeah, but I thought it was in water, sir. No, no. It is carbon dioxide is more soluble, oh, but this water is, oh. this hydrogen is slightly soluble. That is very less soluble. It is the lightest known gas. Do you remember that? Yes, sir. I know it's hydrogen, it's stupid. Yeah. Hydrogen, they don't use it in air balloons or something I'm because so it's like dumb. extremely inflammable or something. Okay, yeah. No, Can you just that it is highly inflammable? That's right. I heard no, of it. Ritish, you know that big, you know that big balloon, right? In Blip, like Blip, they use Blip. it, right? That, that, uh, that yeah, thing is that they use hydrogen. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they don't use helium for that and all. Yeah, they use, they use hydrogen, hydrogen. They don't for use that. helium, but they don't use hydrogen either. They use hydrogen, no. it crashed like a fire. Like, no, they actually use hydrogen for that. Yeah, they use hydrogen. So you only you will write that. Term. Okay, now no, tell me that what. Actually, they use hydrogen there. Okay, yeah, tell me that in balloons, why we are not using hydrogen? Why we are using helium? Highly inflammable. Exactly, because it is highly inflammable. So that's why we are we are not using. We are using the helium. Helium is inert gas, right? Noble gas. Is a vacuum either because you know when vacuum is the lightest because it is nothing. You know the Hindenburg so, uh, air balloon, right? Huh? Hindenburg. It was lighter than it. It's a flight. They filled hydrogen in it to make it fly and then it crashed. It's a famous, famous accident. <laughs> Just imagine being a famous accident. Yo, guys. So I got three. Okay, right. That's I missed. So it is quite stable. If we just talk of uh, hydrogen molecule, why is it stable? stable? Yeah. Why is it flammable if it's like stable? Like it should not react with anything, right? No, hydrogen is not stable. Da. It says it quite stable, da. Yeah, I write it quite stable. It's actually quite stable towards heat. So towards heat, when it's flammable, right? So, he yeah, was right. Yeah. Actually, see, the table means that it will actually it is a decomposition reaction. Okay, I will write it here that H two when it is actually heated at two thousand Kelvin, then it gets decomposed. So after this temperature, it doesn't decompose, but at this temperature, it decomposes to form hydrogen atoms. Yeah. Got it? Yes. Yeah. So that means it is stable it towards heat. Stay. Up to two thousand. It's not like you put it in the oven and it'll start burning. Da. It's not like you have a handful of items in your hand. Right? I mean, I might Here, have... stability means that it is actually stable towards decomposition. That means it, it dissociates only at two thousand Kelvin. Yes. Got it? Yeah. Only when directly exposed to heat, it'll blast and burn and explode. And why is that balloon? I don't know. Tell me that what will happen that when this hydrogen reacts with metals? Can anybody tell me? <laughs> hydrogen dash metal. What is it called? Uh, when it reacts hydride. with metal, hydride. it will sir, 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 it oh. Yeah, I said no. Yeah, I'll write it here. Sir, 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 once can you go to the previous page? I told no hydrate. If you form a hydrate or hydrate or something like that. Hydride formation will take place, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yes, sir. Done, sir. Okay. So let's see its reaction towards metals. Reaction with metals. So when it will just react with metal, it will just form metal hydrides. Yes, sir. So can you just do the example? So what metal hydrate? Hydrogen with sodium. Hydra For example, sodium it reacts with hydrogen. NH. 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 Nah. It forms sodium hydride. Nah. Exactly. Right. So can you balance it? Nah. So two Na Na two Na. Yeah. Two Na 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 Na. So then, if it is your magnesium, it reacts with hydrogen. What it will form? Sir, magnesium MgO. hydride. No, MgO. Magnesium hydride. MgO2. No, MgO2. Oh, what the hell, bro? Where did it come from there? I don't know. Sorry. I only know magnesium hydride. Okay, the F in the case. So, if it's calcium, what it will form? So, CaH2. Exactly. Calcium hydride. So, these are known as metal hydrides. And these all hydrides are your ionic hydrides because they are highly reactive metals, sodium, magnesium, because calcium. These are metal and non-metal form ionic bond. Exactly. So these are ionic hydrides. But if we are having uh, e-block metals, that is the transition metals, they form interstitial hydrides. So that you inter inter. Okay, I will write here D block elements. Form interstitial hydrides. Interstitial hydrides. Yes, sir. That means they, they will not be ionic one, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, now tell me next. There is a reaction with non-metals. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So oh, they form hydroxide. Oh. No. What? Oh, Where did oxygen come from? Oxide. Oh, hey. oh oxygen oh. plus hydrogen gives hydroxide. Right? Okay. It's like oh. Oxide. oxide oh, with H. Right? Not the hydroxide. Oh, like oh. oh what is it? Said? What reaction with non-metals? Oxygen with Oxygen oxide with oxygen. For example, if you are having hydrogen, you react it with oxygen. Oxygen is non-metal. It will form water. Water is your what? It is your oxide. Yes, sir. It's hydrogen oxide. Exactly. Hydrogen oxide or you, you can also call it as water. <gasps> okay. Then there is very important industrial process that is known as Haber's process. Haber's process. Right? Yes, sir. Very yes, popular. Sir. All of us studied it. I know everything okay. about it, sir. Okay, tell me. Sir, it is, it is that a finely divided iron is the catalyst. And then exactly. what is that? Uh, molybdenum is the promoter. Molybdenum. Yeah, molybdenum is the promoter. And what is the temperature? How much? Sir, 2000 degrees Celsius to 700, 700 atmospheric pressure and 673 Kelvin. Yes, yes 673 Kelvin and 200 atmospheric 200 pressure. 700 atmospheric pressure. Okay, sure. Fine. Can you tell me is this reaction endothermic or exothermic? Exothermic. Exothermic. So, endothermic. Exothermic. Heat energy is evolved here. Heat energy is evolved here. Yes. Sir. Have you noted down this? No, sir. I'm writing. No, yes, it's right. Can you tell me which is the most reactive metal in the activity series? It's the sodium. Potassium. Uh, potassium. 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 Exactly. Potassium is highly reactive. But if it uh, is so. Lithium, is rushing up to all of us to the answers. Lithium and potassium, uh, they are I, highly. I was going to say, uh, what is this thing? Lithium. No, I was going to say organism. What? Organism. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> organism. <laughs> organism. <laughs> Ognison oh. is not highly reactive. <laughs> it's yeah, the heaviest it has the most amount of electrons. 
No, it, it's the heaviest known element. Yeah. Okay, now oh, how you complete? Yes, sir. I have almost finished. One second. Okay. Yes, sir. You can go. Oh, sir, sir, sir. You can go to the next page. Okay, just complete it now. No, sir. I finished. Sir, you can sir, go to the next page. Please. Yeah, I appreciate yes. everyone finished. Yeah, everyone finished. No. Hey, tell the truth. I already finished. No. No. Way. I didn't. I didn't, sir. It doesn't even have... feel like one hour. Sir. Wow, I'm not finished. I have all. to write the game. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like one hour. One trillion. Yeah, see here, if I'm oh having this hydrogen, it reacts with fluorine. What will be the product? So what, sir? Hydrogen yeah. reacts fluorine. with non-metal fluorine. Yeah. It takes place Excellent. in dark darkness. Excellent. Yeah, that is the hydrofluoric acid, right? Can you balance it? Ah, two acids. Exactly. Similarly, I hope you can write other reactions also. That is with chlorine, bromine, right? Can someone else uh, can you tell the Haber's process again? N2 plus CH2 gives 2NH3. That's it, right? Haber's process, I have written down it here. This tells so you don't need to go back. Okay, Exothermic iron and molybdenum is there. Iron acts as catalyst and molybdenum as promoter. There is 673 Kelvin temperature and 200 atmospheric pressure. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, FE is catalyst. More, tell me here. It will be twice. Can you tell sir, me which is I, the iron is the promoter right? Iron is catalyst. Iron acts iron there as divided. catalyst. Sorry. Molybdenum mm -hmm. acts as promoter. Can you tell me what is catalyst and what is promoter? Catalyst uh, increases the speed of the reaction. Yeah, efficiency of the reaction. Yeah, you it's even like the uh, speed of the reaction. Is the rate of reaction. And what is the promoter? I don't know. I okay, don't know I will make it. Promoter is, the... promoter is actually that substance which increases efficiency of catalyst. You were wrong. Though. Increase that. You told it the other way around. Efficiency of catalyst. Yes, Okay, now tell me here that among these uh, halogens, which will be the least react to towards hydrogen? No, chlorine is the most. It's iodine. It's iodine. Sir, 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 sir. Chlorine, chlorine, iodine, sir. Excuse me. Sir, sir. in the order. Hydrogen will be least react. To. Okay, I will write it here. Order Excuse of reaction. Sir. sir, we already learned it, sir. We wrote it. Fluorine, okay. chlorine, Excuse bromine, me, iodine. Fluorine, chlorine, okay. bromine, iodine. Sir, am I audible? Thanks for repeat. Yeah, you are no. audible, Jeremy. Sir, the next class started, sir. Okay, that. Right. Is... No, I didn't. Let me see that. Okay, okay. See here now. First, you have to remember that among these halogens, fluorine will be highly reactive and iodine will be least reactive. Least reactive. Yes, sir. And these are all non-metals, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I hope that you have finished. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any doubt, any question? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, then let's stop here. Have a nice day ahead. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, Thank sir. You, sir. Thank, you, sir. Bye. Bye. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye.